All right, so we continue with our second spotlight session of uh, this block. And this is, I think, very interesting. Uh, the name is How Community Focus is Pushing Horizon Forward. Uh, but the two speakers and leaders here, they're very special. They're rock stars and part of our team. So I would like to, uh, for you to give a warm welcome to Lucy Wan and Erica Hamilton to the stage. Thank you. Well, welcome. I'm Lucy Wang, the VP of Marketing at Horizon. I've been with uh, Horizon since, well, the early days. And since then, the project has grown, uh, the team has expanded, but we've always been focusing on community. So, all right, so this is what we're covering. Um, you know, what brings us together? So every community is a little different, right? Because different project brings, like, you know, different people together why community chose us, why they stick with us, right? So we are a group of people, you know, working uh, together for, this, uh, for a, uh, a shared vision, for a common goal, right? So there are things that we do resonates with everyone, right? They agree to what we do, they believe in what we do, and that's why people get together. They're working towards the same goal. Uh, you know, uh, we came from privacy, but we expanded. Uh, we are enabled by privacy technology for a, for a much bigger goal. So with the privacy technology, we are doing more than just private transactions. Uh, and then also we are making the uh, uh, technology more accessible and easier to use. You know, making it work for people. This, and this is what we believe in. And then also, they chose us. They chose to stick with us because they believe in the team. They believe in the people behind the project. Right? And then this is a quote from our community member, uh, from one of the surveys that we took some time ago. And then I think it sums up pretty well. Now, how do we build a community that is strong? Because we believe, you know, together we are stronger, right? And then only a community that believes in us, in return they will help us grow faster and stronger. And we need to be trustworthy, be inclusive, and be empowered. The community needs to feel empowered. When the community is empowered, the team is empowered. The project is empowered. Right? Only then we can stay together long term, regardless of up and downs, regardless of like, you know, what challenges we have. Our first, trustworthy. How do we stay trustworthy? be trustworthy. We need to be transparent and accountable, right? And we need to be connected with the community. And in return, we will be better, edu you know, they will better educate and guide our decision. And then they will be more supportive of our decision. And then also that makes us more resilient. It doesn't matter what kind of, you know, um, challenges we have. We always have the community trust. Our team members, including Rob, um, they're always very active in the uh, uh, community. I don't think there's many projects that you see CEO or team lead or founders of the project talking and chatting, you know, with uh, uh, with community member on Discord, you know, or on Telegram. They're just like few clicks away. Uh, and then we have weekly insider. Every week we have a live AMA every Monday where we give an updates and then take questions from the community. Inclusivity. I mean, needless to say, you know, it's important to create a uh, ecosystem where you belong. That's when they're more willing to give and more willing to, uh, to support and contribute. And in return, you know, as a result, and we have a more balanced and dynamic community that drives our ecosystem uh, grow stronger. Because inclusivity can be in so many ways, right? We can be welcoming, you know, we can have like a different communication channels or languages to make sure that all of our uh, information and the resources are distributed to all of um, different parts of the world or people speak different language. Also, we lower barrier of entry, you know, making it easier for people to join us, right? So this person is like, well, you know, it's so easy to, uh, to, uh, uh, to have a secure node. I mean, guess what? We have the, one of the largest node network in the industry. With our node network, 
This is what contributes to our infrastructure, contributes to our decentralization, helps secure our network, and everyone wins because the node network, uh, node operators, they, uh, they make money, right? They gain, they, they're incentivized from supporting the network, and then it, you know, in return makes our network much uh, more uh, secure and decentralized. Empowered, it's the same thing. So when we open our ear and heart to our community, they feel that they're included, right? So they tend to stick with us, they tend to stay longer. And we have uh, different programs that enables uh, and empowers a community, and different kinds of community to contribute. Um, you know, in return, they help us, you know, be more in touch with the market trends and user needs, you know, and then that helps us make better products that better uh, serves, uh, serve our users. And um, ultimately, we'll have a thriving ecosystem driven by a passionate community. Um, so as Lucy said, an empowered ecosystem is limitless, uh, which is why we created the ambassador program, um, which we specifically designed uh, just to empower and support our ecosystem and community within it. Um, so since the creation of the program, we've welcomed many, many um, Zen evangelists, as we call them, to the program who help utilize their skills and passions to drive uh, program growth. Um, so as you can see, how it works is that uh, we welcome people into our ecosystem as community members, and they can uh, choose to join us as an evangelist, uh, utilizing their skills in order to help us grow. Um, in exchange, they earn Zen, they widen their uh, social network, gain exposure to their skill set, um, as well as the team, and um, it helps us grow and create a larger ecosystem. I would offer you guys an opportunity to ask questions, but we are way over time, so I am so sorry for that. Um, I do want to mention, though, that at 2 o'clock, we'll be welcoming some of our Zen evangelists and team members and OGs on stage for a panel. Thank you. Thank you.